nice. Look at the amount of combo that this deck does. Shield counters, plus one, plus one counters that we can utilize. I mean, oh my goodness. Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be playing Slow Gurk Shielded. Before we get into the deck list, I have a small announcement um, regarding the channel and the videos. I've been I've been so far I've been enjoying making all these a different variety of decks and different videos and I've been having a lot of fun playing them and I've been absolutely loving the support and all the interaction that you guys have been, you know, um, doing with me i love hearing from you guys i love talking to you guys i love replying to each and every comment you know just hearing your opinions overall and your insights on my decks and maybe improvements as well um, since we're all good players after all um, yeah with that being said uh, the announcement is basically the videos are going to be um, from now on uh, unfortunately the videos are going to be slightly shorter I'm going to try my best to get as many games as possible within a, a deck list that I create. But if I can't one day, and 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 um, please expect at least um, two games per deck. And the reason is because I've recently um, had to devote a lot of my time to um, basically something within my life. And uh, um, yeah, I'm. I don't think I'm going to have enough time to play the game. Although I am going to continue to make decks, I am going to continue to post, and I am going to continue to play the game. It's just that the videos and the gameplays are going to be a little shorter. Maybe I'm going to focus on best of one a little bit more than best of three, um, since the games are shorter. But at the same time, it's not going to be um, less than two games per deck. So I'm going to uh, to play two, three, or four games if I have the time uh, to record them and if everything goes successfully. Of course, uh, the decks I create, I like to test out. Um, so that requires a lot of time as well. I like to see uh, what each and every card does and, and like how they play out in general. So yeah, that's the announcement. I hope you guys bear with me. And also, if you've been enjoying the content, um, like the video as always, it'll help me out greatly. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. I'm trying my best here to create something fresh every day for you guys and cover some creatures, some planeswalkers, some cards that get too overlooked so with that being said i appreciate you and let's get right into the list so slow gurk shielded um it's a band standard best of one list with average converted mana cost 3.5 12 creatures 19 uh, non-creatures and 29 lands and the reason why we were playing 29 lands is because of slow gurk obviously slow gurk is plays so well with the channel um lands here you basically channel the lands and you get you get plus one plus one counters on slow gurk and then you can remove three plus plus one plus one counters and get those land uh, return slow gurk, uh, slow gurk to hand and then when slow gurk leaves the battlefield you get uh, three lands back from your graveyard to hand so you can recycle or rechannel those lands all over again that's the idea behind the list the shielded part is falco spara sanctuary warden and titan of industry you have no idea how good this, the deck plays together right sanctuary warden when it attacks it can remove counters from slow gurk and basically draw forever falco spara can remove counters from slow gurk and basically play off the top of your deck forever as long as you have plus one plus one counters and the rest of the cards are more of a control slash mid-range list that requires some removal some disruption and some early on um ramp so um we're utilizing our shield mechanic here within falco spara sanctuary warden and titan of industry ren plays a very important role here because it combos so well with slow gurk you basically plus the ren you get lands or and then you put the lands or you channel these lands that you get to get um, extra value off of Slogar. Also, we're running Faithful Mending to discard lands to get value off of the Slogar as well. What else do we run? We run Shigeki here. And the reason behind Shigeki is ramp, right? You get... You're probably going to plus the ran and lose some valuable spells that you might require. So Shigeki can get them back later on in the game. It can act as a big draw spell that can actually pick and choose what you draw, which is very important. Also, since we have a lot of faithful mendings, sometimes within certain games, you're going to have to discard something besides lands. And when you do, you can always 
um, know for sure that you're going to get them back with Shigeki here. Um, our disruption here slash removal is going to be fateful absence uh, since we need a way to um, get rid of planeswalkers uh, and blue, green, and white doesn't really, they don't really have good ways of dealing with planeswalkers besides maybe like counter spells. Um, so fateful absence plays a decent role here, especially removing these early creatures that might be able to take uh, over the game or removing creatures that can ramp and also um, take over the game. Uh, make disappear here my favorite counter spell two copies very important early in the game and later on in the game you can probably sacrifice your slow gurk to it uh, to the casualty and get lands back and redo it all over again get Sh get slow gurk back with shigeki play the slow gurk and do something with the lands as well um one copy of reckoner bank buster there's a lot of value within the deck a lot of card draw as well but reckoner bank buster makes sure that we're um we're keeping up right so one copy is pretty decent we're going to find it uh, sooner or later since we were doing a lot of milling a lot of discarding and uh basically a lot of recycling um one copy of test of talents because we are running discard we are running mill so if you don't like test of talents necessarily in your hand or against a certain deck that you're playing against you can always discard it um also it's a pretty good target to get back from the graveyard to counter maybe an invoke despair that can pretty much hurt your entire deck um also we're running um we're running broker's charm as a draw spell slash enchantment hate um I like it as a draw spell. I like this charm. I wanted to play it. Um, I didn't find any problem playing it within this deck. It doesn't necessarily synergize with the deck or with the idea of the deck, but it plays well, especially with like the uh, little bit of tempo that you might, might get or the options that you might get off of it. A lot of times it plays more than just one role. And then Ren and Seven, we talked about Ren over here. Um, obviously, Farewell is going to be our board wipe of choice because it's very flexible and also we don't run a lot of ways to deal with enchantments artifacts we're not we're not running the white march we're not running any of that although the white march could be pretty decent in the deck i just don't have room within the deck we're playing 29 lands so lands are taken over here um and then yeah like i said we finish it off with sanctuary warden and um, titan of industry titan of industry can put a shield counter on your slow gurk but if they cast a mute hook ma massacre and your slow gurk dies um you can you can just you know get lands back and maybe find a way to get slow Girk back from shigeki and redo it all over again so you can see within the deck there's a lot of value and a lot and a lot of recursion right also the nice thing about slow Girk is that it battles vanishing verse and meat hook massacre let's say they play a meat hook massacre for three if you have a way to discard a land from your hand slow Girk is going to dodge the meat hook massacre uh, slow Girk is going to survive so that's a little bit of a nice info right there and you'll see that within the video also falco here um nice addition i i haven't played this card enough um i love it in the deck it's been decent the shield counters are definitely like not to be messed with with the amount of removal that people are running nowadays besides vanishing verse of course although falco spara um dodges vanishing verse but besides vanishing verse um shield counters are pretty amazing right your titan survives titan is such a good card right your sanctuary warden can get value off of these shield counters as well which is pretty good titan can put shield counters on falco spara again or anything of the sorts and then everything is synergizing very 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 well within the list itself so um that's the list uh three iganjos two Ottawaras, three busejus because these are the best ones in my opinion um three spars headquarters uh, a bunch of dual lands and pathways and then we have only one basic one basic maybe we run into a field of ruin that tries to disrupt us and that uh, basic is a planes and that and yeah that does it for the deck um i hope you guys you know uh, be a little more patient with me um i do appreciate all the nice words everything you guys have, have said so far all the support that you've been doing within the channel you like to talk to me you like to interact with me um you like to leave some nice comments even if it's if it has a little bit of criticism it's fine I like criticism, it improves my videos, it improves my gameplay, and it, it improves my outlook on the game itself. Um, the thing is, you might ask yourself, 29 lands are going to be flooding out of your mind. No, MTG Arena is rigged. Um, actually, 29 lands might not be enough, to be honest. Um, you'll see within the gameplay, 
um, I don't know, sometimes you run 25 lands, 26 lands, and then you're flooding every game, you're losing your mind because you're like, I need the 26 lands to hit things on curve or to play the game, but then I run 26 lands and now I'm dying because all I'm drawing are, are lands. But then you run a deck like this that has 29 lands and it seems like it's not enough because a lot of times you're not top decking those lands. So not a lot of times, but sometimes you're not top decking those lands. So you just don't know. Uh, we play the game. We know it's rigged. We know it's not fair. We know it's based on luck, but we play it because we love it. And uh, yeah, I'm just trying to be a little more positive when it comes to the client itself and the way the game has been going so far. Um, I've been enjoying the decks. The decks have been performing very, very well. This deck is a performer, no doubt. This deck grinds and grinds and grinds and it has ways of dealing with a lot of decks out there that a lot of people are not ready for which is slow gurk and the shield counters basically so yeah with that being said like the video if you find any value within the gameplay enjoy the gameplay as well um, the games have been fun also subscribe to the channel like i said if you are new it's the smallest form of support um, put the word out there and i appreciate each one of you and i'll see you guys later with another video okay Okay. This is terrible. Seriously, this hand is just awful. This is whatever, seriously. Yeah, we're going to... I mean, we drew a land, but hopefully just that one land. For now, at least. Yeah... That's what happens. Yep. We're just gonna flood it seems like, so... Okay. Nothing from our opponent. Get that out of there, seriously. Okay, we're gonna need to get these back at one point. Thankfully, we have a Shigeki in hand. Yeah, all the theaters in the world and the courtyards for the elemental, and they still don't have nothing. Oh, they're teamer. Nice. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, let's just attack. They prepare for war. Okay. So, two, two, two. We can get two cards back. Probably the farewell and the slow gurk here. Oh, they're running rune crab. That is funny. That's super funny. Okay. Every seed contains. Okay. Let's just get in there, seriously. They're way behind. They're way behind. They want to mill me? They're saving the crab? That's insane. Don't you know that we're playing Shigeki? So milling me is giving me more options, basically. Nice, they gave me detour as well. Probably have gold span dragon. But what is this weird uh, landfall pile? Hmm. 
Okay, it's safe to say that we have to kill them next turn. <laughs> this is going to get really out of hand. Some sort of um, stupid combo deck. Okay, they're at 17 because they're gaining all that life. Okay. So do we have enough? We have 50. Yeah, we have enough. We have 15, 19. Okay. We do have enough. Nice try, opponent. Nice try. It's not going to happen. Respect him. Respectable though. Okay. Uh, I guess we keep this. Good lands. Got some disruption. Got four out of five for Ren, which is pretty decent. Pack leader. Yeah, our worst nightmare is the turn one play, to be honest. Our worst nightmare is a turn one play. Of course, we're countering, countering that. Okay. We've got Falco next turn, which is, I guess, something, right? Okay, nothing. I guess we draw. So we've got two white, two green. We've got farewell next turn and no land. No lands. We discarded both of them. Or we discarded one, I guess. Alright. <clears throat> okay. They passed. I wonder what they have. They must have a turn, um, turn 5 play, don't they? They must have one. How good is Faithful Mending? Pretty good, I guess, but... We don't attack. I wonder what they have. Yeah. Okay. That's fine, I guess. Is it? Okay. What do we discard? I guess Ren isn't that good at the moment. Okay. They both have reach? Oh, big mistake opponent. Big mistake. Bank Buster proving its worth yet again. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Well. We can play Slogurk here, but we're going to take a lot of damage next turn if we do. And that means we're going to have to discard two things. I do want to play the Warden next turn, so... Um, I 
We're getting a land, so we can play it actually. Okay, it's pretty pretty good, I guess. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> we have we have farewell, I mean, so Blizzard Ball. Do we fare well? Okay. They're not over investing, that's for sure. But let them invest. We have a warden next turn with shield counters, so that's pretty good. And I mean, if we can top deck a Shigeki, our graveyard is loaded. But they might have another one of these. Are just going for the 5 5 lair? Are they flooding? They're keeping one mana open. <laughs> okay, that's a clear sign, opponent. It's a clear sign. Alright, let's start sending these. Hmm. Okay, how are you going to get out of this? How? Chariot? Chariot is not going to do it. We go over the top, remember? Shigeki, what a draw. Oh my god. Let's start attacking, actually. We need to get this done for. They might have another Blizzard Brawl. Which is fine, I guess. I mean... So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We're going to have enough for the Besager here, which is pretty good. That's very good. Let's draw some more. Nice. Let's pass. We also have blockers. Against green, blockers is a nightmare. They do have trample, but at the same time, how are they going to deal damage and win against a board like this? It's not like they run, you know. They need invoke the ancients. It's not like they run um, board wipes or anything. Oddity is okay, honestly. No attacks with the chariot. Okay. Nothing. Let's just get rid of the chariot. Uh, be more mana efficient here. They can crew the chariot and protect it. Yeah, that's what they're going to do, I think. Okay, at least we get the protection spell out of their hand, right? Instead of them playing like a... Uh, uh, like a combat trick on us. 
You can still kill the chariot. That's the that's the funny part. Okay. Dealing 10 here seems very reasonable. We're winning the race by so much. We pass. We have Iganjo. We have Fateful Absence. They're done for, seriously. They're done for. We're gonna target the Chariot with the Fateful Absence, obviously. Hmm, this is pretty bad for us. So they get 1-1. One, one. So that pretty much means we're going to have to kill the oddity, unfortunately. Okay, we can still make a combat trick here. And that's game. Easy. That was easy against green. Easy. Okay. Let's try this out. We have the combo pieces here. Oh, we don't have blue. Yikes. That is terrible. That's absolutely terrible. Okay. Are we going to draw the blue source? I'm not sure. Hello. I mean, we can try it out and see, but... Man, they're going to kill the Shigeki here. We're late on the combo as well. This is not looking good for us. We're not drawing the blue source just yet. We have one more chance to hit Slow Gurk on 4. Anvil, we have the perfect answer. Yeah, I'm not going to make you an artifact here. That's fine. Let's ramp with the Shigeki. We need a blue source. I guess this is a good land. We also have life gain against Anvil, which is pretty good. Yeah, uh, letting the Shigeki live is a terrible idea. Are they going to blow up my blue source? Probably. We only have a white source in, in the deck. Which is pretty terrible. Yeah, they're going after my blue, I believe. Yep. Yep. Okay. Well, at least we have lands, I guess. I mean... Not that it's good or anything, but yeah, they definitely screwed us there. But they're, we're buying so much time still. We still have a lot of time. A lot of time. But if they kill the Shigeki, that's pretty bad. We didn't see a removal spell so far. But I'm not sure. Maybe they did draw one. All they need is a Blood Chief's Thirst, to be honest. Angie. Okay. So now I guess we kill the Shambling Guest. We are going to take a lot of damage, but we can wipe their board pretty well. Yeah, they're going to Anvil us. Or not. We're going to get ready to farewell next turn, which is pretty good. We drew the blue. Hopefully they don't blow this up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Two, three, four, five, six. All right, so we have the green for the Titan of Industry here. Oh, playing two anvils cannot. Three anvils? Nice. Nice. I love it. They're going to drain us with Angie again. We're going to take a lot of damage.
We're gonna play that Dex Nightmare. Absolute Nightmare. Keep the graveyards. Farewell is their nightmare. Yeah, we're gonna be drained. They can hit us with a hive as well, once. But then we take over with the Titan. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, they had to do that. I mean, what else are they gonna do? Yeah, Hive, and then we play Titan. Nice. Nice Hive, bro. You get only one of these, maybe two. What are they going to take? He took the Farewell. We have another one. Uh, gain five and shield counter. Okay. Nice. We have Slogurk, we have Ren. They're pretty much I mean, done for. They don't even have Invoke Despair mana, which is pretty good. They don't even have a good, a good Meat Hook Massacre against us. Yeah, they're going for the hive again. Okay. This is getting old. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay. If they do that for. Uh, if they don't exile the fateful absence, they did. Okay. One, two, one, two. Okay. Let's pass. We can we can gain life with the faithful mending. Their desperate hive attacks are just awful. They're not gonna last forever. That's the thing. They have five on a meat hook massacre. Okay, so when it dies, we return these to hand, right? Uh, return up to three target lands. Nice. Okay, so let's discard this land and uh, probably the Ren. Yeah, I don't mind discarding the Ren, although it combos very, very well with... Um, yeah, that was really bad. <laughs> Good game. You tried, you did, but it didn't work, I guess. Okay. I guess we can take, um... No, let's not. Test of Talents, what a perfect draw. Okay. And this deck has been really, really, really performing here. Really performing. Holy. And everything plays so well. Yeah, that's okay. Fine with that. Okay. So what do you got? What do you have for us here? <laughs> the deck has been performing, no lie. Like, it's been so much fun so far. Okay. You gonna burn me to death, opponent? Still going for the hive? Have you lost your mind? We win next turn. Attack with the hive. There's no way they can deal five damage with the, yeah, with the card in hand, which is an Olivia. Why didn't you play the Olivia? Oh, because you have a shambling gas. That's terrible. Good game. Indeed, well deserved. Well deserved game on our end. Okay, opponent wants to go out swinging, respectable. Yeah, 
I mean, it does combo with the slow gurk. Nice. Look at the amount of combo that this deck does. Shield counters, plus one, plus one counters that we can utilize. I mean, oh my goodness. Yeah, they just, oh, they were blocking the Titan. No lands, but okay. Discard both of these. Good game. Nice. <laughs> they said oops at the end because of no lands. Nice. GG's.